Ashley here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the cost of waiting. The cost of waiting is essentially what people are telling me they're doing right now, which is the market is crazy. We want to pump the brakes. We want to wait till next year. We want to wait till the crash. Well, the bad news is I don't think there's going to be one, at least not in Austin. And the good news though, is that we are seeing a rise in inventory on the market. So even though interest rates are rising, something I like to remind people of is that people in the 80s paid 16, 12, 20% in interest rate on houses. We've been quite spoiled as it's been at a low for a very long time, a historical low for a long time. So the good news is, is the market isn't going anywhere. It's still going to be increasing in value. There are more listings coming on the market and typically more listings in May and June. I know personally, I have quite a few as do my coworkers. What I think we're going to start seeing is a shift. So and every time that interest rate goes up, you're going to lose 12% of buying power. So I encourage you instead of stopping and waiting and re-signing your lease, get back out there, start looking, get educated about what you can afford. It's not going to be perfect, but it will be worth it. I've never had a client or a previous client at least say, I never wish, I wish I would have never bought that house. More so I have people say, I wish I would have bought sooner, myself included. So consider this your pep talk. It, the market is still strong. It's going to be strong. I think the shifts that we're going to see is homes not increasing 30% wise, but maybe still in the five to 10% uh, range, which is still great. There's still quite a low demand and more listings coming on the market is good news. So anyway, hope to share that. If you have any other questions, happy to chat. Take care. Bye-bye.